Hey, what's up everybody? BDO44 coming into another video. All right, so walking down to Target and grab some salad, grab some turkey meat, maybe grab some more of that egg stuff to my body. Doesn't really like too much, but I love the taste of it, so I deal with it since I don't live with nobody. Uh, did some laundry this morning, you know. Got up, drafted some more teams as I always do. Made my Dallas Maverick video for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. But uh, honestly, I'm just getting out of the room because I wanted to grab some stuff but of course I wanted to get some air man it's really nice out here right now it's about I say it's about 81 81 degrees nice breeze and uh you know sitting in the in the hotel room just ain't it for me right now for some reason even though that's what my natural inclination is to do I've really been enjoying out getting out doing what I had to do last week so I wanted to find myself a destination but the problem is I gotta be very, very careful not to spend too much money on the bus. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, if I'm not having a destination, that's also money out the window. And it ain't really nothing in my account right now. So for me to reload it, I'd have to put cash in and I don't wanna waste cash either. So I gotta make sure I have reasonable destinations for which right now I do not, not outside of this area. So just going down, riding to Hollywood again. I, it's not that serious. Riding over to downtown, unless I can make that appointment with those people who don't answer the phone. It don't really make no sense to go there either. But uh, looking for apartments and things of that nature is important, but without income, still waiting on GR. So we're kind of just in no man's land. There's always more to look into, and always more to look for, but all I'm doing is waiting for an opportunity to tell these folks that I have income. <laughs> And so since I have yet to be able to produce that, I'm only going to be asking for opportunities to wait. So that that's meaningful. It's meaningful, but at this point, it's not necessarily what needs to be done the most. What needs to be done, God, there's a lot of doo-doo and flies around here. What needs to really be done is just making sure that I'm out and about every day doing what has to be done in my life to keep myself out and active and, you know, producing uh, some substance into this camera as well. So I figure I just turn on the camera, tell you guys what's, what's going on with the day. You know, it feels like the internet is reached an all time low and uh, <laughs> content out there, everybody's talking about nonsense. And so I'm just paying attention to it. It's, that's the only thing being thrown to our faces, so. You know, just dealing, man, just dealing. I want to make more of my day than I've been able to. So hopefully this walk can can be a step in the right direction. I would love to buy myself another towel, but I realize that most of the towels are like $10, $12. That's money that needs to be kept for the circumstances and stuff like that. So, you know, I washed the towel that I had, and if they have one for a nice, reasonable price at Target, I will purchase myself a bath towel or something that can be dried off with so that it doesn't continue to create the problems that this towel has been creating. Because even when you wash them, it still sheds like crazy. It doesn't. That's just the nature of that towel, the towels that they have. And uh, so it felt good to clean the sheets, clean everything, because I hadn't done all of that since getting into that room. It's kind of dealing with it. That's not what I prefer, but I wasn't gonna waste quarters when I had just done laundry two days before and didn't have anything else but the sheets to wash. I wasn't about to do that. So I waited a few days, God got me through it, <laughs> washing off with the dirty towels and whatever. You know, it's just, it's humble. You have to humble yourself in the present city circumstances. I, you know, the, the, the bed is not very comfortable. The, um, you know, the, uh, what am I saying? Pillows dirty underneath the, 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 the pillowcases. So it's just, it's what you got to deal with, man. It's not, it's not ideal. It's a hotel. And, uh, you know, these are the circumstances that people try to avoid when they work, when they put themselves in a position to have something. You don't want to be in a place where you have to deal with this type of stuff, but that's the life we're in. That's the life we're in. So, I look forward to things getting better, and it's just the wait around for now. So, not a fan of that. Really, not a fan of the wait around, but 
God is sufficient and there's things to to see and do and experience while I'm waiting. So hopefully the Lord can put me in a position to do that this time. And uh you know, that's it. Like I said, it's a really nice day out here. I'm feeling great as far as my body's concerned. Those last two workouts, the last two days have been official to my leg strength and stuff like that. I told you guys I wasn't feeling this strong last week on Tuesday particularly. I just felt like I had never done any squats before, that kind of thing. So the consistency is something I'm welcoming right now. I don't think I'll do it today, but I'll probably get right back to it tomorrow or maybe even later tonight. Um, try to get that consistency back on with my fitness because at the end of the day, at this age, your body's working in the other direction no matter what. Just getting older and older. <laughs> I can see it in my face, I'm getting older. But you know, it's the blessing of being alive. I'm very thankful that my circumstances have improved dramatically since last week, even though they can very easily go back, back to the way they were if things don't, you know, manifest with, the, with this income process. But just the same, I'm getting closer to God. I did a lot of praying, as I told you guys I needed to do in regards to that Lester situation and everything that has to do with my friend Bronze and, and their family there. I'm just hopeful that everything will work out for everybody I'm struggling, you know, in whatever way you are, because Lord knows I am. But, um, you know, I'm just hopeful that throughout the process of all of this, God can make it so that I have a bit more um, unselfishness to my name, to my character, rather. Because uh, I'm still looking to protect me from stuff. I'm looking to make sure I'm comfortable in the presence of not really finding too much comfort because of what ultimately I do to make myself comfortable. It's kind of irritating. But at the same time, you know, I'm working against my own mind. And at least I have some clarity as to what it is I'm doing versus what it is I should be doing and trying to work my, that into the equation. So, you know, ain't a whole lot of fun to be had. Not, not in this side of town. But, uh, you know, it's not about having fun. It's about getting my soul and my, my mind right. And that's what I'm trying to do. Getting, keeping the conditioning going of walking, being out and about around people dealing with various different energies don't really find myself to be uh having fun doing i don't like that i honestly don't. i like being myself y'all know that i'm an introvert and uh, a lot of times in these type of settings people are not very happy with themselves and not in a good space they ain't a whole lot to celebrate for people they're in a loop you know what i mean they're, they're struggling or whatever it ain't, it ain't a whole lot of uh positivity to feed off of i feed off positivity but uh you know, it is what it is. That's why you just gotta gotta be humble and get yourself out of the situation so that you can find yourself around people that you wanna be around or in spaces that you ultimately find yourself most pleased with being in. And so these are just the hard times we're living through right now. And uh, they say hard times don't last forever, but these feel like they're lasting a long time. So it's dealing with it, man. At any rate, um, you know, any whole lot else to, to report to you guys. I, I don't think there's anything really to say other than uh, I feel all right, you know, feel fit, feel positive. And uh, just trying to get out of the situation as best I can. You know, ain't a whole lot to really say other than that. If anything, I just know that you can appreciate good times when they come around because these bad ones do too. You find yourself in situations where may not have had as much as you used to or something like that you gotta when you get back up you gotta really appreciate it be humble so keep your your spirit right in those circumstances so that they can last a bit longer and i'll do what you gotta do to make sure that you're pleasing god or whatever it is that means most to you being close to the people you love helping others through hard times because that's really what i'm benefiting from is others seem in their heart to see through uh, whatever they got going on to help me and that is uh that is amazing when you consider how much is needed and how much I've been given you know without anybody saying okay when you gonna get back to me with that and when you gonna pay me back so to play that forward when I get myself in a position to be okay again that's key that's really key man you learn to respect more when you go through these circumstances you learn to respect uh that people are unselfish, more unselfish than you. You gotta work on that <laughs> if you're me. So that's really what it is, man. 
so good, I guess. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's one of those. That's really what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm much better than I was last week, needless to say, but it's still a whole lot of, it's a whole lot of hard times, you know? Last Tuesday was horrible. It's Monday. It's been almost a full week. It don't feel like it's been a week. In fact, it only feel like it's been a few days. You know, in the hotel that I was in, in between when I went to NoHo, that don't feel like that was nothing but two days ago. So, you know, time is it's, it's going slow, and that's what you wanted to do when you have circumstances like these as it pertains to. You got to pay every week to, you know, you want to get a lot accomplished in a short amount of time. You want to take care of yourself to the best of your ability, you know. And so I think I've done okay over the last two days with the working out and all of that. Trying to just take care of myself, eating well, winning the battle against bad foods, which is a real thing around me. And, uh, you know, just dealing, man. I tell you, if ever there was something I can honestly say is that the Lord has been carrying me the whole way. There's been many times in a situation where you saw me say I wanted to quit. Even before things got this bad, I had moments where I didn't want to be here. And you get tired of, of just the whole things you know not quite having what you want not quite having the ability to get what you want it's humbling for sure because i've had times in my life where i had money and was spending it on whatever bought 500 hundred dollar headphones ubering everywhere and paying big tips to the uber drivers that was one of the things i really did when i had money in my pocket i would uber everywhere and i would tip five dollars each time without any concern because i just i didn't have any respect for money at all I acted like I was a millionaire when I really wasn't doing like that. But, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. I'm almost near the target. I wish I had something more poignant to, to say, but I'm just dragging them around. It, what it really comes down to is you just get worn down by hard times. You're just in it, and you're still in it, and you're still in it, and it just does wear you down. And I, it's not like I'm smoking or drinking or anything to get my mind right through it. I'm just dealing with it with my natural mind. And even when things were good, I wasn't doing that. I would smoke a little bit or, you know, smoke a lot, but because I'm trying to ration my money, there's no way to, to escape this mentally for myself, so it does kind of have its ups and downs, you know, and my mood right now is just like blah, man, just blah, I'm sick of a lot of stuff, but I'm also thankful that stuff ain't as bad as it was a week ago, so you find that balance appreciate yourself appreciate the circumstances even though they're not ideal and uh that's pretty much the end of that that's what it is for me man so i'm about to go into this target mind my business hopefully get everything i need come back out without spending so much and let it be what it is man look at this target all right that wasn't there last time i was here man they definitely hadn't done that but I tell you, I was definitely rejuvenated by going home. I can really say that much. Going back to Hollywood made me feel so much better. And I don't think I need to be there too often. It's not like I got to keep going back. It's only, it's only but so much of that I really need for myself. But to have gone back and stumped around in a lot of places that mean a lot to me, uh, it was everything, really. Especially going through this. I could have enjoyed that at any point in time in the last seven years. But when I'm going through this, after the week I had, felt rather divine man rather divine so i just encourage everybody to go check out those videos that i did on friday going around hollywood because it was a uh, a lot of stuff there that maybe people would like you know stuff that you you probably give you a little uh, tour of the city or the other town rather and uh you know tourist attraction and all kind of stuff i was able to capture a lot of that as well as go home and show y'all where i'm from show the neighborhood that i actually grew up in show y'all the apartment that i actually grew up in you know, see how far away I'm from home I actually am in these times. But yeah, man, that's what I got. About to go into this target. I appreciate everybody for watching BDL 44, and I'm out.